Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Gordon Frayne. We are back with another video. This time we're talking about Griffane, one of the leading AI agents getting a lot of traction over the past few weeks. As always, if you enjoy the content, please make sure to smash that thumbs up button below. Hit that subscribe button as well. And if you want to get notified, smash that bell notification icon. And don't forget to grab your completely free copy of The Rise of Bitcoin. It's linked down below this video in the description. Grab it now under the video and let's get into the content. So this AI agent narrative continues to gain traction and gain steam over the course of January 2025 as we begin and kickstart this new year. And I do think this narrative for AI agents is going to be one of the bigger narratives in crypto this year year. I think it's going to ride on the coattails of the broader artificial intelligence narrative that you've got the biggest companies in the world chasing Apple, Google, Meta, Amazon, NVIDIA coming out discussing AI agents specifically, their CEO talking about this last week in their keynote speech. And we've got lots of interest lots of interesting stuff happening from a blockchain perspective with all of these agents. And Griffane is trying to be one of the leaders in this space. I will say I haven't got huge, hugely hands-on with Griffane just yet, but we're going to look at an example of what it's doing and some of the use cases. But just before that, again, I'm keeping my eye on cookie.fun for all of this stuff happening with different AI agents. You can see we're currently at a $17 billion market cap across 1300 different AI agents on Solana and base. And I do think this entire market cap for AI agents is poised to continue marching towards $100 billion and beyond. There's still a lot of growth potential with what's going on here. And every week, if not every day, there seems to be new advancements, new tech, and new interesting use cases for these AI agents coming on stream. So we've got a lot of exciting stuff we're going to look at. And again, this is early, guys. We're still very early in the world of AI agents, you know, limited functionality. And you'll hear a lot of talk of the of, of many of these agents simply being, <clears throat> you know, wrappers around ChatGPT and Claude and, and these different LLMs. But I do think it's interesting to be able to unleash some of these agents and see what they can do while parsing real time data because you've got different agents, you know, like Grafane, like AIXBT, that are able to interact with real time data being generated across social media in order to analyze that data, gather sentiment, and react to it in a very, very efficient manner. So that's the exciting part for me. And again, that's something that, you know, would take hours for us as individuals to do on a broad scale. Scale, whereas these LLMs and these AI agents can parse huge amounts of data in very, very short amounts of time. And with all of the information being produced on X and Twitter and different social networks every second, you know, it's able to be um, parsed much more efficiently by these different agents. So let's take a look at Grafane. Again, from a pricing perspective, we've seen the price rocketing over the past couple of months, even since the beginning of December, we've gone from prices of around two cents all the way up to about 54 cents where we're sitting at today. And that on a percentage basis is a very large increase in price. You're looking at a 6,000% increase in price over that period of time. If you go right back to when it was underneath one cents per token. So very exciting stuff happening here with Grafane in terms of price action, but is it warranted? What's going on under the hood? What are they actually building? So we can check out their Twitter account to get a little bit of an insight on this AI agent engine from Grafane. <clears throat> and a couple of the use cases that they call out specifically on their Twitter are doing some very interesting things with being able to use Grafane for different use cases. So if we look at this particular use case, what they're talking about is using Grafane for hunting different whales for certain different tokens. So again, you're seeing here a lot of the hype that was happening with the Trump coin over the past week or so, you can see that you can use something like Grafane to give you information about the biggest whale holders on Trump for the token by asking it a question, you know, asking you to give it, um, give you the information about who are the biggest holders or the biggest whales. And you can see Grafane is reporting back with 
individual contract addresses and wallet addresses for some of the biggest whales and biggest holders of the official Trump token. So again, one interesting use case that you could use Grafane to parse on-chain data in a very quick and efficient manner to give you insights that might be useful in your research or when you're considering allocating capital to your own investments and your own tokens, you want to know detailed information about different protocols, different contract addresses, different meme coins, different agents. You can use Grafane to efficiently parse that data and give you insights directly in a very similar interface to what ChatGPT actually looks like. Another very interesting, cool use case that I saw they posted a video about here, guys, is being able to use Grafane to make actual purchases. So again, you've got to remember, you can give Grafane its own dedicated wallet address, fund that wallet with capital or you know Solana or stable coins, and it can actually take action on your behalf when you're interacting with it via this dashboard interface. So again, this example, if I wind it back to the start, you can see that you can tell Grafane you're looking to buy some sort of specific coffee beans. It's going to parse the internet to find data about those specific beans. You can see that they're, you know, South American roasted specific beans um, is after bringing up, asking you a question, would you like to purchase this particular blend? So it's found, it's found the information for the specific type of beans that you asked it for. It's giving you the description of that particular product. It's giving you the tasting notes in this case, because it's, you know, a type of coffee and it's asking you, would you like to purchase this blend? So again, it's got access to your wallet. It knows it has a certain amount of funds, whether it's Solana or stablecoin that you've already deployed into that specific wallet. And Grafane would have the ability to execute purchases for you. Obviously, it's asking you for permission to do that here. But you can see, yes, if you say, yes, get me two bags, <clears throat> and then it's going to ask you for some specific information, probably just so it can execute the transaction checkout automatically on the product website. And you can see that it's asking you for your first name, last name, address, so that it can execute the checkout process for you, check out and purchase the coffee using your specific selection. Lana wallet, whether it's with that solar stable coin that's already in there, it has the permission to do that. You can see it's giving you a summary of the order, a subtotal for your coffee, the ground shipping total, the total of your entire order. It's asking you once again for permission, which I think is interesting because it's doing this, giving you all the data, and again, asking you to confirm the purchase multiple times. And once you give it permission to proceed, it's going ahead and it's going and actually executing the checkout and purchasing the coffee by placing the order for you and giving you an update on that transaction. So some very interesting use cases coming out of these particular AI agents. Again, it would be super useful, you know, instead of using the likes of Google and having, you know, to whip out your credit card and put in that information, you know, using this type of interface, you could argue maybe it's more or less efficient than actually using traditional, uh, you know, Shopify store checkouts and browsing different websites yourself. If you can have your wallet that's dedicated to purchasing, you know, on any website, and you can use agents like Grafane to parse the internet for specific types of products that you're interested in, in order to give you a better shopping or better e-commerce experience. I think that is a very, very useful and interesting use case for these agents. And it will be uh, super interesting to see how much traction that type of agent could get over the coming months and years. Again, just some or a handful of these use cases for Grafane. I do think they're building out lots of other different types of use cases. If you come over to their website yourself, you can see it prompts you. Well, firstly, it says that you know it is invite only for the moment, um, but while you're waiting, it does prompt you to create a wallet. So you can set up a dedicated <clears throat> or delegated wallet for your future agent. So again, you can pre-populate the wallet, create the wallet address that you give the agent access to. And again, you only put, let's say $100, $200, $500 into that particular wallet that that agent can use and access. You're not you know, allowing it to overstep its limits. If you've got other wallets and other addresses that have significantly more capital in them, you give it a delegated wallet. It can use and interact with the funds in that wallet to do a whole host 
of different use cases. And I do think this is the, you know, the type of world we're going to be moving towards for these agents that can do things much more efficiently for us than we could do on an individual level by having to parse large amounts of data. So very interesting use case. Let me know below, guys, do you want to see a video for a price prediction on Grafane? I will put together a price prediction. If you want to see it, drop me a comment below this video if you want to see a price prediction for where we think Grafane can get to in terms of price per token by the peak of the bull cycle. You can see we're already above half a billion dollars in terms of market cap for Grafane. Huge growth in its market cap over the past couple of months, you know, going from a market cap of around $27 million at the beginning of December up to half a billion and beyond where we're currently sitting today, middle to end of January. So very exciting growth happening. I'd love to put together a price prediction. Drop me a comment if you want to see that. But that's it for today's video, guys. The last thing I have to mention is that today's video is sponsored by Femex, the most efficient crypto trading and investment platform. And yes, of course, if you come over to the markets area, Griffane is available for purchase and trading directly on Femex. Of course, this is not financial advice, guys. Check it out. Do the research for yourself. I think there's a lot of growth potential with these agents. Check out Grafane. Check out Femex. I will leave a link in the description, a referral link below this video for Femex. Check it out for yourself. But that is it for today, guys. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please smash that thumbs up button on your way out the door. It really helps with the algorithm. It's super helpful to spread the good word. Make sure to subscribe, smash that bell notification icon. And if you want to grab it, you've got a completely free copy of the Rise of Bitcoin linked below this video in the description. Grab it now while it's free and we'll catch you in the next video.